Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Amparucci and today I'm going to show you guys how to make delicious blueberry filled crepes. As always, the tools and ingredients that I use in this video will be linked down below in the description box. Don't forget if you enjoyed this video to give it a big thumbs up and click down below and subscribe to my channel. So to get started, I have about 3 cups of fresh blueberries and I'm going to squeeze half of a lemon in there and half a cup of sugar. And this is on medium heat so I'm going to let this reduce for about 5 to 7 minutes. After about 7 minutes, you'll notice that it starts bubbling and there's a whole bunch of liquid. That's why you don't need to add any extra liquid, just the lemon juice for flavor. Because the blueberries start reducing into a liquid and then as it cooks it turns into a thick blueberry saucy syrup. So it's been about 7 minutes. I'm going to let this reduce for another 5 minutes or so. So after about 5 minutes, this is what it looks like. And I've reduced the heat. It's got nice and thick, but I want it to be a little thicker. So what I have here is about two teaspoons of flour. And what I'm going to do is make a little slurry. So I'm going to grab some of the blueberry juice and add it in here. A couple teaspoons of it. And I'm going to make a thick sauce. And I'm going to add this into my blueberry sauce and that's going to make it nice and thick. You can see it already start to thicken like a syrup consistency. I'm going to remove that from the heat and set it aside. Now for the cream cheese filling I have one package which is eight ounces of softened cream cheese. I'm going to add three tablespoons of sugar and vanilla extract and mix this all together. Now to make the crepes, you wanna add one cup of flour or baking mix. I'm using baking mix, but this works just the same with all-purpose flour. One egg, three tablespoons of melted butter, about a teaspoon and a half of sugar, and a pinch of salt. And you wanna mix this all together. And then a cup of milk. I'm using almond milk. And you might actually want to use a whisk for this part. And I also just want to add that it will be a lot easier if you mix all the wet ingredients first and then add your flour. And you'll have a nice thin batter. Now the best thing to use for crepes is a griddle. So here I have a cast iron griddle and this is on medium heat. You can lightly spray this. Yours is non-stick, you really don't need to spray it. And this is why it's best to use a measuring cup with a little beaker on it because then you can just pour the crepes. It'll be nice and easy. And after about a minute or so, you can flip the crepes over. And this is why I prefer to use baking mix because I don't like my crepes to be paper thin. I like them with a little bit of volume. Next batch going in. And these are the crepes. Mines were a little on the smaller side, so this recipe made about 10 crepes. You can definitely double this recipe. Here I have everything to assemble the crepes. So here's the first crepe. And you wanna add just a tiny bit of cream cheese in the middle. You don't wanna add too much. Cause otherwise it's gonna start oozing out of the sides when you roll it up. 
And I made extra blueberry sauce because I love mine's packed with blueberries and I like putting blueberries on the outside as well. That should be good. And then what you wanna do is roll it up. Just like that. Now I'm gonna make this look really pretty. I have a beautiful dish. I'm gonna grab some of the blueberry sauce and try to make this look fancy. To add my first crepe on here. I'm going to grab some of the blueberry sauce and drizzle that on top. Look at how beautiful those look. All right, let's give these a try. Mmm, mmm. That blueberry sauce is divine. And the sponginess of the crepe, creaminess of the cream cheese goes perfectly with that sauce. Thank you guys for watching my tutorial on how to make these delicious cream and blueberry filled crepes. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and click down below and subscribe to my channel.